This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and the lesson I'm on is getting properties. Let's see what we have. Drop downs. Oh, awesome. We're going to make menus. Text inputs are nice when you want users to be able to enter anything they want. Notice anything's italicized. But often, you want to restrict them to just a few choices. Yes, of course. For example, if you want a user to pick a color, you probably want to make sure they can choose, they only choose colors that will actually work. The provided drop down with the ID color underscore input. Yep, and you can always check an ID by actually hovering over the item on the screen. Allows a user to choose a handful of background colors when the set color button is clicked. Let's try it out then. Cadet blue. Oh, I got hit run. Uh, oh, is it? Oh, it's supposed to. <laughs> All right. So do this. Inside the event block, create a variable called color and assign it to the value using the get property block. Okay. Variable. We're going to name our variable color. And then we're going to assign it to the value. Uh, let's see. Get property. So what we have so far is on the event that set color is clicked and that's this right here we're going to run this function what does this function do well first it creates a variable and that variable is going to get the yep get the color input so whatever color input you see how this id is color input we're just going to say hey computer get color inputs and we want the value, whatever color input, the item that is color input, whatever it is value is, get that and assign it to color. So our variable color will then be equal to whatever the person chose. Now use this set property block to set the background property of screen one to the variable color. Okay. So now we're going to set a property. Right, we're gonna we got a property and we took that property's value and assigned it to color. Okay, our variable color. Now we're gonna set the screen background color to we don't need red here, we need to delete all that. We're using our variable, and remember a variable's name doesn't need to be in quotes, it's not a string, it's a variable name to color. Let's give it a shot. Cadet blue, is that blue? These aren't colors. Where's red, green? But, uh, all right. I guess they are colors. All right. Awesome. Let's keep going. 